The teaching and learning toolkit top page is organized very simply to give you that quick overview of what research has to say about a particular intervention or strategy. Um, you have your heading of the different ideas, taking something like block scheduling, and then you can take a quick scan of these pictures. This tells you how expensive an intervention or costly it is, and then the locks show you how much evidence um, research has, and then whether it's moderate, limited, or even extensive. So for something like collaborative learning, extensive evidence, you could also look underneath the heading, it says it's extensive evidence at a relatively low cost. The idea then is looking for things that cost very little, are proven to work through research, and have a high number here. And scrolling through the thing that's probably best or most powerful here is metacognition and self-regulation. If you need to know what those things are, you already know what they are, but what does the research say and gives you more detail, you click on that heading and then again within a minute or two you can skim and read what they say it is, why they feel it is effective, and then even further if a deep dive research can look to the right hand side and these resources are really the white papers that give you a very very detailed insight into the research and how you might use it but even better than that I think on many of these topics they have things like this summary of recommendations posters so if you're a teacher or a school that says alright we know that something like focusing on approaches to learning metacognition self-regulation students being the one to decide where am I at in my learning and what do I need to do next to improve? How do I do that? And these kind of things can help us get started. It's a really useful site. Um, so I'd encourage you to go there to think about something when you're saying, okay, we do this, but what does the international research say? And this has been the best source that I've found in order to kind of get a sense very quickly with under 20 minutes on a particular topic and then if you want to do further explanation it's a good starting point to know where are the major studies and who are the major researchers thinking on this topic on a global scale.